Hello and welcome to Course Networking. This tutorial will walk C users through the full CN platform and introduce important features. First, we will start by logging in. You can either use your CN number or registered email address and your password to log in. The home page is the first thing you will see once you are logged in. Your profile information is located here in the upper left corner. At the top of the home page, you will see the courses menu, scene search, and your scene number that links to your scene ePortfolio. On the right is your scene calendar, emails, and system notifications. By clicking on the account setting gear icon, you can edit your profile, change your password, added email notification settings. If you need assistance using CN, you can send us a help desk email or go to the user help center to find appropriate tutorial articles. This is also where we can log out when your session is over. Underneath your profile information, all of your courses and networks are listed. You can access a specific course from this list or the courses menu from the top of the site. On the right hand side, you will see your institution networks and communities. You can join communities based on your academic interests and skills. By clicking a community, you will see posts and members from that community. From home feed settings, you can hide certain posts. To create a post on the home page, click one of these posting tabs you will be able to post to your followers, institution networks, and communities. Please note that you must enter a course to make a course post. By clicking the drop-down menu above the home feed, you can sort the posts by using various filters such as all my content and see an admin posts. Now, let's look into course features. Click on Courses, you will see a list of your courses. Every CN member is able to create a couple of free personal courses and invite members. Institution users will use institutional courses created by your organization. CN has two course types, classic course type best suits instructor-led blended learning activities whereas Pathway Courses type is optimized for corporate training, self-paced courses, and short academic online courses. In this video, I will show you two courses, one of each type. First, let's take a look at the classic course called Intro to C&E Portfolio. Here are a few of the important features that will be necessary for you to know when taking your course. On the top, it shows the course instructors the course on our C's table, which shows the instructions of earning on our points, and the NRC's progress bar. This helps you keep track of your progress throughout the course. You can see how you compare with others with the course average shown on the progress bar and the top achiever shown at the right. On the left hand side is a text tool. This is the main content delivery tool in classic courses. This shows all courses modules and learning activities. The most important part of any course is its content. The text tool is used to systematically manage and deliver course information and learning activities. These are smart links, and when you see them in the task, they will lead you to learning resources provided by your instructor or prompt you to complete learning tasks. For example, I can click this link to create a post to share my opinion of certain topics. Upon meeting the course completion requirements, students may automatically receive a course completion badge or certificate if these words are set up. Underneath, you will see a series of course management and learning tools available to you, such as the course public page, posts, posts, events, global posts, quizzes, assignments, the Dropbox, where students submit assignments and files, the gradebook, badges, roster, and course analytics. If you scroll down a little bit more, you will see recent visiting members in the course. Hover over a name, you will see their mini profile. 
The major social discussion tool available to both students and instructors in each course, including post, poll, event, email. The course posts are displayed beneath the task in chronological order by default, but can be sorted or filtered by using the options in the drop down and course hashtags in the bottom left of the course. Remember that you can always refresh your course by clicking the course photo. Now it is time to showcase a pathway course called Stress Management in Customer Service. The course activity path is located on the left side, and the specific learning content of each activity is displayed on the right. In most cases, activities is the default display tab. It displays a list of activities learner needs to complete. Upon completing each course activity, you will receive a green check mark based on the completion setting. Learners may receive a Lesson Completion Badge or Course Completion Certificate if these recommendations have been set up by their instructors. The menu is used to access the course gradebook, roster, and analytics. The gradebook takes you to view all of your assignments that have a gradebook item associated with them. To view the associated activity, you can click the item name link or the submission icon. The roster is the list of every user in the course. You can visit other course members' e portfolios from this page. You can also filter your or another course member's posts created in the course. This page also gives information about last course visit, course badges, course completion rate, and NRCs. NRCs measures your overall participation but is not your major feature in Pathway courses unless your instructor stated otherwise. The Analytics dashboard shows you a variety of data about your participation and performance in the course versus the course average. Instructors have access to different analytics that give them an overview of the entire class. The Post tab takes you to the post feed of this Pathway course. It accumulates all posts from everyone in this course, including posts created for specific posting activities. You can use a post, poll, event, and email tabs on the top to communicate with your class. You can use this drop-down to sort or filter posts you want to see. You can also filter posts by using polls, events, groups, if your instructor created any groups and the search post box on the left side. You can also click the hashtags in the bottom left to view posts and reflections with a specific hashtag. We encourage you to use hashtags to label your posts when posting. Doing so will help others easily find the discussions of their interests. To update your profile, either click your profile image, name next to your profile image, or click on the pencil icon. Then this will take you to your own ePortfolio page, which is a lifelong digital portfolio to store and showcase your achievement throughout your education. There are different sections on your ePortfolio where you can sort, rename, or add more. In the header session, you can change your profile picture by clicking on the camera icon. To update your cover image, click this box and upload a picture of your choice or search on Google Image. The icons next to your profile picture are known as a visual resume and may represent places you have worked, schools you've attended, clubs you are in, and any institutions you want to show that you have been a part of. Anarsis is a gamification feature used as a motivation engine on CN to track participation and encourage positive competition. You earn Anarsis while building your CN portfolio and receive as a course participation reward. Hovering over this circle will show your status based on the number of Anarsis you have earned. The flag icon shows you which country you are from. You also have options to link your social media websites like Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. About section allows you to introduce yourself. 
Write a summary of who you are, including your academic goal or career objectives. These are space to upload your resume and transcript and modify various visibility settings. In the Skills section, you can add skills you have, tag these skills in your document, folders, and showcases. The skill tags will help you to filter relevant evidence on your ePortfolio and connect you with others who have added the same skills. There are more sections including document section where you can document your coursework, certificates, and showcase section where you can reflect your learning and present your accomplishments in detail. In the badges section, you will earn badges whenever you complete all the course requirements or receive as a reward for outstanding performance. You can easily share them with other social media sites, email them, or share the link. The more comprehensive your ePortfolio is, the greater the opportunity for you to build a meaningful academic social network with other CN members from around the world. Last but not least comes the exciting smart learning agent, Rumi. CN is one of the first learning management systems that offer an AI-based personal assistant to individual users. Rumi is a personal assistant that uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to enhance user experience. The Rumi icon is located on the top navigation bar. The core services of Rumi include announcements, tips, recommendations. Announcements sends out announcements created by both CN admin and institution admins. As a personal assistant, Rumi gives the learning and teaching suggestions to each CN user based on their profile, behaviors, and performance on the platform. These tips help learners to have better learning experiences and outcomes, and help instructors to teach more effectively through using Unix CN features. Rumi recommends job opportunities based on the user's field of study and location. Rumi also recommends communities and other members to you to help you expand your academic network. The CN team continues to improve the algorithm and services behind Rumi. We are looking forward to your feedback. Thanks for tuning in to this tutorial. To watch more CN tutorial videos, check out the Course Networking YouTube channel or User Support Center. If you have any further questions about the site, please contact us via email at help at cn.com.